Hello, I'm Dr. Jennifer Levine, and I am a board-certified facial plastic surgeon in New York City. Today, I am going to be talking about the injectables, which are also called fillers. Uh, we're very fortunate now because we have a wide array of products on the market, uh, and they all have differing chemical and physical properties. So I'm going to go over this a little bit. But the idea of it is really to give your face uh, that youthful contour back. And we want to do that without making people look like different types of animals, like chipmunks or uh, monkeys or pigeons or other uh, sort of things. We just want people to look really, really good and look like they haven't had anything done. What we know now is that the changes that are occurring to our face occur actually in the mid to late 20s. And those changes are actually occurring in the cheek area. So obviously, some of the changes in aging have to do with um, genetics and also risk factors such as sun exposure or tobacco. But some of it is beyond our control. So filler is a good way to start so we could get back that youthful glow. I like to think of using any of the fillers in a very anatomic way. As I've already discussed, most of the changes that we are seeing are occurring in this area here. And it is the descent of the cheek area that is actually leading to the nasolabial fold and the melolabial fold, or these lines around our mouth. The other thing that's important to realize is that most people who are looking at us are not seeing us from the frontal projection or like what we do when we look at ourselves in the mirror. Most of the time when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we make a little face, we fix our hair a little bit, but that's not really how people see us. People are seeing us more in a turn view or a three-quarter view. And what we want to do is we want to look good, obviously, from all angles, and we also want to look good when we move our face. So I like to use these fillers in a way that you, we would restore these contours, more like a sculpture or a volumetric foundation to the face. So I like to think of the injectable starting from the side and kind of moving inward. Now, as I said, there are many injectable products on the market. They range from Juvederm, which has an Ultra, a Ultra Plus, and the brand new Voluma, which out now is supposed to last for about two years. And then there are Perlane and Restylane. And then there is a Belotero, as well as Radius. And all of these products have different chemical and physical properties. And I like to use a combination of them depending on the result that I would like to achieve. Most of the products will last for about six to nine months. And some of them may last a little bit longer. And I like to work with each patient individually to achieve the, uh, a personalized result that is both beautiful and lasting. Thank you very much.